In the spring of 1959, a disaster occurred. China was hit by a deadly famine, and in the short duration of three years, estimates say that about 30 million Chinese starved to death, and almost the same number of births were lost. This period of starvation became known as the Great Chinese Famine. The most impacted provinces were Anhui, with 18% of the population dead from starvation, Chongqing with 15%, Sichuan with 13%. Guizhou with 11 percent and Hunan with 8 percent. In terms of human suffering and the death toll, there is little doubt that this was the worst famine of modern times. But what caused it? The answer is, in reality, very complicated, and there are multiple factors that contributed to a disaster of this scale. My paternal grandfather Wu Liangshen was in Jiangxi, a landlocked province in the east of the People's Republic of China, when the catastrophe occurred. He experienced a famine when he was 11, and was 14 when the disaster was finally resolved. In the famine period, you were forced to do what? Every person has a test, especially for our children. That time, we were 11 or 12 years old. There was no food. There was no food. What was it? Actually, I remember it. I always think about it. I remember how long it was going to go. But for a few days, I still remember it. I remember it. There was no food. How did you get to eat? You can eat food. 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 Eat 就这么，就是稍微稍微在在锅里面，在锅里面炒两下，有点脆性，就这么咬咬咬，就这么吃下去。那后果是什么呢？那吃下去其实营养没多，但是能够能够让我们维持一些生命吧，是吧？然后呢，后果就是说，这个大便解不出来，这个堵塞，是吧？这个其实人还是一样的，因为没有什么营养在里面，人还是非常的饥饿的，是吧？所以有的时候呢，不管什么东难吃的东西，就尝试吃草这个东西啊，草根，这这是这是经常的，是吧？穿也是没有，是吧？穿也是没有，就是我们你可以想象一下，我们那些呃身上穿的东西都是非常少的，是吧？这个脚，是吧？我记得那个我那个小时候那个脚跟那穿那个破袜子是吧？穿的破袜子，那个这个到冬天一冻的时候，冻成跟跟那个袜子跟肉脱不开，血淋淋的。我我母亲跟我去脱的时候，血淋淋的，就就这么一个程度。这个日子是说实话，现在为什么？我是记得就是就是跟昨天一样的，记忆犹新，非常清楚。到六四六五年那个时候就好一些了，当我慢慢慢慢有些改善的时候。那个时候有已经有些粮食的时候，我一个人可以吃三个人的饭，吃的吃吃，是这样的。因为饿久的人就是饥饿感特别强，有一点饭就是可以，就就是感觉特特别是可以吃多少都行一样的，就是就这一种。这这到了后来若干年以后，我都我都是以那个赌对，就就是记得很清楚这个这个过程。Although Jiangxi fared slightly better than other provinces during the famine. The people and their children rarely had anything proper to eat, and most peasants chose to wait and believe in the government's ability to resolve the issues causing the famine. This shows how much faith the starving farmers had in Mao Zedong to resolve the issue of food rations. Although the people in rural areas were starving, the government rations were never quite empty, and research of several well-known historical famines conducted by Adam Smith and Martha Sad also shown that famines occurred even when per capita food output was maintained. If more reasonable economic measures were established during the time, like a fair food rationing system that wasn't urban biased, then millions of deaths could have been avoided, and perhaps the famine wouldn't have taken so many lives. My grandfather had referred to the famine as the three years of natural disasters, and the three years of difficulty. This alternate title for the famine was inspired by a series of natural disasters and climate events that hit China during the famine. In mid 1959, the Yellow River flooded, causing thousands of deaths by drowning and damaged crops. Government reports state that almost 100 million acres of agricultural land were flooded, and the crops all destroyed. This flood was immediately followed by a wave of further disasters: diseases, insect infestations, droughts, periods of severe heat, more floods, and typhoons. 
And if another famine of similar magnitude happened in the future, the people would be left with two choices. One, to hope for the best and silently endure the starvation and unfairness. Or they could fight for their equal share of food rations and demand their freedom of speech. The Great Leap Forward by Mao Zedong In 1958, Chairman Mao announced an ambitious five-year plan known as the Great Leap Forward. The idea of this would be to rapidly industrialize China to catch up with the rest of the world. Instead of producing the grand success promised to Chinese citizens, this would initiate the start of the largest famine in the world. Uh 大自然的存在情况下面，永远是存在的，只不过有的时候自然灾害可能强烈一些，有的时候呢就是稍微好一点。你像我们最近这个这个这个传染，这个叫什么？这个这个这个病毒传染是吧？这不是也是一种自然